Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping back by. As you know, I don't have a, you know, a scheduled uh, upload date. I'm working on that. As you know, I do this for fun and whenever I feel inspired. And having said so, I found this guy. Um, I know it's out there readily available, which I'm happy about. Um, I actually like this version of Storm Shadow better than the this is the first wave of G.I. Joe, and you couldn't find it anyway, and the, to me this looks a lot better. Um, there's, a, you know, we'll get to it a little, a little bit, but there's little things that I don't like, but thus far I like how this is looking, and it looks like everyone else is too, as it is getting harder to find. I wanted to pick up the Henry Goulding one, but um, I have a feeling that those will go on clearance quite soon, so I'm gonna... Just bide my time. Anyway, uh, this video is about Snake Eyes from uh, a Snake Eyes movie Storm Shadow, I should say. Um, a really good version, and it has like a realistic actor head, which I have ideas for. Um, I will show you uh, in a little bit, but first, first things first, um, let's crack it open and this is new. I have an audience of uh, <laughs> figures here. I thought it would be cool to have them hanging out, checking out their buddy. All right, let's get to it. All right, here's Storm Shadow outside of the box. Uh, first impression, I'm Storm Shadow. Okay, bad, bad impression, but first impression on the figure itself is uh, it's pretty good. It's a little hefty, um, definitely more well, well built or more concentrated plastic than Destro and or Snake Eyes from the first wave. Um, not much going on on the box, but uh, the backdrop does pull out like this. So we kind of have a um, ninja talk show happening right now, which I'm quite enjoying. Um, not so secretly in front of the camera here. Um, comes with two samurai katana swords, whatever you want to call it. Um, one thing about these is they're pretty detailed already. Uh, if you notice in the previous versions the swords were kind of blah there's no paint application this even has the um, kind of damascus sword um, thing going on there you can see the the ripples and the yeah you can see right there and the blade edge uh, very very pretty looking sword even though plastic they didn't have to go through uh, all that effort, I don't think. See, even in the hilt, there's a little gold accent. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, it does come with uh, Andrew Kogi's head. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's either Andrew Kogi or Koji. Which is really cool that they're casting, you know, he's British, but of Japanese descent. So it's like, you know, if you're PC like that, it's cool. Um, Having said that, you know, they recast uh, Snake Eyes as a Japanese dude, or no, wait, Henry Golding, I think he's Chinese. Um, and as you know, in the comics, if you read the comics, uh, Snake Eyes was actually white. Uh, I don't really care either way. I just wish that uh, maybe they would have made a better film. I haven't seen it yet, full disclosure, but the reviews look horrible and I'm kind of scared to see it. But I probably will eventually stream it somewhere. But yeah, I think they should, if they're going to go through all that trouble to recast, actually, you know, do good, I guess. I don't know. I'll watch it and let you guys know. Let me know what you think in the comments if I'm jumping the gun and it's just all, um, you know, fanboy stuff that is completely inaccurate, which happens often. Um, all right, let's check out the article. <laughs> All right, so Storm Shadow, he has a tiny bit of butterfly. I wish he had more being a ninja. I would like him to have more range of motion than that. Uh, Snake Eyes is a bit more than that, I believe. Yeah, it just goes forward a bit further. Um, let's see. Head goes down about that far. Yeah, pretty good range of motion. You can have a skydiving pose. You got, obviously, rotating shoulder. 
Got a bicep swivel, double jointed arm, elbow, which is actually pretty darn good. Let's see what else he's got here. He's got a hinged wrist right there, and of course it goes turn, turns all the way around. He's got a ab crunch, and it clicks pretty well. A tiny bit of side tilt. Um, there's, uh, I guess, to honor old G.I. Joe's, they, they had a ball joint. Yeah, see? See how Snake Eyes has a ball joint? I don't know if it's as prevalent on Storm Shadow from the Snake Eyes movie. It might be on the previous wave of Storm Shadow uh, for, for these guys. Uh, he might have had that ball joint uh, torso, but I don't know since I never got him. Uh, hard to find and really expensive, too expensive for my taste. So, all right, kicks forward pretty good. As you can hear there's pretty, pretty good uh, clicking action going on there. So it's good for longevity of your figure. There, I feel like there is a rubber band situation on the uh, inside there, but I'm not gonna click it open. Uh, let's see, you got a thigh cut swivel. Double jointed knee, but it's kind of hindered. Let's see. Oh, there you go. You have to kind of force it to click into that kind of uh, accordion door like hinge. Let's see. Foot and ankle pivot. I thought this was on autofocus, so I apologize, guys. And a rocker. So all the goodies. I don't know if I missed anything. Um, yeah, so pretty standard articulation. Very poseable. So far, so good. All right, here's Storm Shadow unmasked. And we have uh, Andrew Kogi's head on there. Very good likeness of him. Although it kind of makes him look a little older. He looks much younger in the movie. Um, and he comes with this little sheath for the katanas. So let's see if I can do this right. One this way. And one this way. And they slide in there pretty good. Very easy. And let's see. Let's put it on the back here. Yeah, it's not bad looking. It's pretty flush. I, I was a little skeptical that it wouldn't be as flush and wouldn't look as good, but not bad. Pretty cool. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this quick little review on the Storm Shadow uh, Snake Eyes movie uh, action figure. I like it. Um, there's definitely improvements that can be made, but all in all, um, I, I, I dig it. I like the face sculpt. I like the mask. Uh, the only thing I really, really don't like is the kind of tuxedo-like belt. They could have done better with that, but, you know, in keeping with the movie, I understand. Um, oh yeah, bonus. So, here's Sunfire, and as we know, Sunfire is a uh, native of Japan. And I've been trying to find a unmasked version of him. I don't know if it's out there, I haven't seen it. Enter Storm Shadow and or Elliot, uh, is that his name? Goulding? Henry Goulding? Sorry. Um, I was debating on which one I should use, but hey, I think Andrew Kogi looks like a Sunfire Unmasked, so we could do that. Boom. Sunfire Unmasked. All right, guys, thanks again for joining me. Um, please leave a like and subscribe um, what you like or what I should do better. I, I, I know I don't do this too often. I'm trying to get more uploads and trying to keep it interesting. Someone's holding us at gunpoint over there. Um, yeah, anything helps and it helps me improve and, you know, obviously motivate. So thanks for the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, love you guys. Stay safe. Wear a mask, please. I don't want you guys to get sick. Anyway, stay talkative. Peace.